Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the JavaScript. Today we are going to learn how to get the assist token or generate the assist token using the JavaScript Node.js because in the JavaScript you are not able to get the assist token or the plain JavaScript you are not able to get the assist token until or unless you haven't installed the npm packages because without this you are not able to get the assess token so it's a clear mention that if you want to get the bearer token or the assess token in the javascript client side so you need to do it on the server side first to generate or get the assess token that's very important okay so then you can use this token to send the notification using the http v1 api so okay so let's first generate the assess token using the node.js you have to do that part so after that we are going to send the push notification at the client side using the javascript okay so first most important thing that generate the assess token so this is that what we have to use google auth library axios for the send this is for the like you can hitting the api okay so this is fs file system right this is by default okay so this you have to set up and if you haven't installed the node.js npm so make sure you have to do that part if you are javascript you are learning something in the javascript so this is very important that you have to install the google auth library how you can install it just on the terminal you have to write this packet npm i the package name google auth library axios or whatever you have to just mention this name of that one and it will install the respective package and this is the code you have to make it ss token .gist. and then you have to go to the terminal for this okay and uh, just type write node server.js and it will cannot find the module okay so npm i x use you have to install so install it and then run it okay so there is a no file for this testing let me just correct it hide this so this is the service account file so i need to just replace this one so just give the path of it okay let's try to use it then here you can see you are able to get the sys bearer token so we are going to use this at the client side and send the push notifications in the next video okay so after this uh, i'm going to do with the client side javascript where we are going to get the browser token and then there we are going to send the push notifications right so assess token is there so let's understand the code so google auth library xeos fs so path to your service account key file if you don't know how to get this file already video is uploaded in the new firebase playlist so watch it you will get how to create it load the service account file so you have to load that file and then define the required scopes for the firebase messaging that is client email private key you have to create object jwt client right and then obtain access token with the help of client dot authorize so it will give you the access token and return that one and wherever you want to use it you can use it and the life of this token it is like i think it's to be one hour so you can check also after the one hour it is expired or not so in that case you can also have a check on that okay so this is how you can generate the assist token using the javascript node.js any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section next video is gonna be like how to send the push notifications using the client side library javascript okay so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day